what is going on guys welcome back to the youtube channel so on today's video i wanted to talk to you guys about my biggest tips when it comes to traveling now obviously depending on when you're watching this we are about to approach the warmer and the summer months and a lot of the time people struggle in terms of how they're going to stay on track or maybe you've got a busy work life and you're traveling a lot with your job and it can be difficult sometimes to know how to manage this how to still stay in shape stay on track with your nutrition your diet your training just to make sure you're at least maintaining during these periods now this is good timing in terms of what i've been doing recently is i've just got back from my travels went to bulgaria a couple of weeks ago um, to have another checkup on my chest, my pec tear. You can go and watch some of my previous videos to find out a little bit more about that. And then I went back to the UK for two weeks to see my family, to catch up with friends. And again, it was a lot of traveling. It was a lot of uh, eating out and a lot of things that were different to my normal routine. So it's important for me to stay on top of my physique and my health throughout that period, which is what I managed to do. So today I just wanted to talk to you guys about what my kind of biggest tips would be when it comes to this as it can be quite challenging and a lot of the time people just kind of you know give up sometimes when they are going away and they don't necessarily have the plan in place to know how to stay on top of these things so i'm going to go into my first tip okay and this is about pre planning okay now planning is probably the most important thing when it comes to getting in shape in general okay i mean planning your nutrition your training your week your schedule everything should be planned go old school with this sometimes using the pen and the paper can work really 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 well but when it comes to planning and you're traveling this is just really thinking about making sure that you potentially got some stuff that you're going to be able to take with you in terms of food and snacks and things that might be more challenging to be able to get when you are away now really good example of this is every time i go away i'll always make sure that i'm packing whey protein with me now it's not to say that i couldn't get that in certain places i'm sure if i was to to go to bulgaria i'd be able to find somewhere but it just makes sense it just gives me that high protein snack or that high protein shake for me to have when i need it so it's important to just make sure you've got these things this could just be having some protein bars or just you know thinking about ways in which we can still get something in our suitcase that we can just plan out properly to ensure that we've actually got now i did this um, a lot i did this when i went to previous holidays as well i always make sure i kind of put something in there and it could just work incredibly well we also need to start thinking about other supplements as well okay now you don't need to take away a full-blown supplement cupboard with you i probably wouldn't recommend that but there are certain supplements that i would take with me anywhere that i went again just to ensure that i'm staying on top of things like things like electrolyte tablets super important if you're going to a hot country if that's going on holiday or you're traveling somewhere that's you know a lot hotter than where you previously were taking like sis hydration tablets or any kind of hydration effervescent you can put in your drink can also work incredibly well basic things like multivitamins omega-3 stuff like that can work incredibly well in terms of just staying on top of your health okay staying on top of your general routine so if you don't plan and you just kind of go without this and you're potentially going to struggle so anytime i go away i think right, right what can i get in my suitcase i might struggle to get out there what can i take that's going to help me plan that's going to help me plan my food so I'm in a good position. The second thing that we want to start thinking about, which also comes down to planning, is our workout routine, our training, gym schedule. What are we going to do when it comes to that? Now, it really depends on kind of what you want the outcome of that to be. If you're going on a really relaxing holiday, then maybe training or going to the gym isn't something that you really want to do. And that's totally up to you. In my opinion, I would always take training with me. It's part of my life. I love it. It makes me feel good. I love exercising. So for me, an absolute priority is to find a hotel or a facility that has a gym close by. If I'm staying in an Airbnb. I will make sure there's a, again, a gym in the apartment or that there's a gym somewhere that I can go and train at. For me, this is important. I always make sure that I look on review websites or I do my research on Google and I will find, understand if I can still keep my training up at where the local gym will be. This is super important. And I think if you start having that mindset everywhere that you go, that you're going to keep up with your training, you're going to still do that, then it's going to massively help you when it comes to staying in shape now you could change your workouts you can make them more efficient you don't have to do the same workouts that maybe you do when you're in your normal routine but it's important that you do something in my opinion now even if you're not able to train maybe you're going away with work and you know they've booked you a hotel that doesn't have a gym and you can't find a gym that's that close this happens to a lot with our clients you need to be adaptable and be able to still train and still do something that's going to keep you ticking over now this could simply just be training from your hotel room balcony workouts we've got clients that do these all the time they're very creative you know we'll give them a workout that will still you know, really give them that kick up the ass and get them feeling really good and really release those endorphins even down to the point as to where you know put some resistance bands in your suitcase you know something like that can work really well think about how we can be creative how can we do something and take something with us that still allow us to train but again that pre-planning is super important the way that we live now 
it's very unlikely that there's not going to be a gym or some sort of exercise facility that's going to be close on hand for you to train really wherever you go most holiday destinations now are going to have a gym most places that you travel to there'll be places close that have got gyms you can get ubers you can get taxis you can get to places okay and you might think this is a bit extreme sometimes when it comes to this but it really isn't if you're embarking on a journey to get into amazing shape and you want to stay there forever then that's a lifestyle that you need to uptake all the time and i firmly do believe that you should keep that routine and, and try and you know maintain some sort of structure and have a minimum standard even when you're traveling and even when you're going away and if you want to stay in good shape and you know the top of this video staying shredded whilst you're traveling you need to train you need to make sure this is consistent you need to make sure you're still eating relatively well and this is super important so that's my second tip tip number three okay this is basically making sure that you're as active as you can possibly be and you get as many steps in as you can number one tip that we give to our clients is activity okay it's increasing meat which is essentially the non-exercise activity thermogenesis which is basically the amount of calories that we burn when we're not physically trying to exercise okay so when we go to places that we've not been before we travel we go on holiday you know we go and see our friends and family like I did back in the UK we want to try and be as active as we can like I was making sure that I was staying active I was going out I was walking the dog I was doing things that would keep my step count super high and this is super important I mean if you're going to nice places you know you want to go and see nice places as well if you're going to you know, nice cities in Europe if you're traveling in South America if you're going to anywhere right you, you want to make sure you're able to see the places so getting in lots of activity is important and you know even if you're going on a relaxing holiday like out here to Dubai or somewhere that maybe is an all-inclusive and you're going to be very much kind of glued you know to your hotel or maybe you're super busy with work and it's very much a intense you know period of meetings and stuff still be active there's still no excuse to not get your steps in and you know try and make sure you're hitting a minimum of 10,000 every single day steps are so easy the barrier to entry is simple and they will allow you to burn more calories and if you want to enjoy more food and more drink and enjoy your socializing more when you're away and you need to get more steps in okay the more that you put in and the more activity that you get the more you're going to be able to have in terms of consumption of food and calories so it's so simple but often neglected just get more steps and make it non-negotiable you know that you're doing that every single time i go away i always make sure this is something i'm doing you know, i get up and go for a walk see nice places and really smash that step count super high because the more you can get the better it's going to be for you in terms of maintenance keeping body fat off and staying nice and lean and shredded step number four now this is what i like to call my kind of secret weapon when it comes to enjoying holidays traveling staying in shape and this is fasting okay super important and this is something that maybe for everyone isn't going to work you know some people love a breakfast they love a hotel breakfast the buffets all that kind of stuff and look if that works for you amazing however we've got to think about is again we need to try and save calories we need to try and you know, at least be a, a little bit careful when it comes to not over consumption so if we can actually fast for the first few hours of the day we can give our digestive system a chance to reset from overnight then we're going to be able to push a lot of those calories into the second half of the day now this is something i've used lots of times which is something that i did when i went to the maldives fasted pretty much most of the mornings and then i'd eat you know a bigger lunch and a bigger dinner and it meant i could have a lot of food during those meals because i pretty much saved all of the calories and when i say fast you know you could have like a black coffee you could have some caffeine you could train in the morning you could get some steps in before you know it, it's going to be midday anyway so you know you, you've pretty much skipped what would have been maybe 500 even a thousand more than a thousand calories that you might have consumed first thing in the morning so fasting can be great and it's a good trick to have up your sleeve it's not something that you have to do but when it, potentially you need it it can be used it's a card that can be played and it's something we recommend to a lot of our clients you know you don't need to eat in the morning there's no need for doing that and if you've eaten a pretty big meal the night before fasting is actually going to be beneficial because it's going to give your body that chance to reset the gut's going to reset you're going to feel good and then you can go again and obviously eat as i say when you get into the second half of the day and tip number five now this is the last tip this is a tip that nobody wants to hear essentially this is about avoiding too much alcohol Okay, now obviously naturally when people go away we kind of change the way that we look at things a little bit we kind of want to go out and we want to try the local alcohol the local spirits local beers you know if it's a holiday of course you're going to want to have some drinks it's totally fair enough to me the last couple of weeks whilst i've been away i've drank a lot more than i usually would and again that's pretty normal for doing that and being away however we want to try and control it as much as possible that like we can't be going out and getting pissed every single night and drinking loads if you do that then effectively you know you're not going to stay lean you're not going to stay shredded whilst traveling you're going to end up feeling like crap come back and probably have a lot of work that you need to put in and if that's the compromise that you want to make then you know that's fair enough but all the time i wouldn't say that's what people really want to do i think that alcohol is great but i still think there should be a moderation around that you know choose the big nights that you want to enjoy on holiday choose the times that are going to be going out and really sending it and then make sure the times that you're not you're you know a little bit more settled you don't have to drink maybe every single night or essentially you could do something like you know have a couple of beers or have your cocktails start one or two and then move to like a lower calorie drink 
a spirit and a diet mix up, which is just going to save you some calories. If you're smashing cocktails after cocktails and beers after beers, then the calories are going to spiral out of control. And essentially, it's going to make it very difficult to stay on track. And what we've got to think about as well is that if we keep drinking, then effectively, we're going to probably struggle to train and move and, you know, be active the next day as well. So that's something else to potentially try and consider. So anyway, I hope these tips are useful. Essentially, if you follow these five tips, then I think you'll find it very simple to maintain weight, to stay in shape. It shouldn't be something that's that challenging. I remember going to the Maldives a couple of years ago and I came back lighter than what I left. And that was me literally an all-inclusive on an island that was pretty small. Um, and I wasn't really able to, you know, exercise a huge amount, but I still maintained just from doing those things. I fasted, I made sure I got enough steps in, you know, I trained every day, simple stuff like that, that helped me maintain and, you know, as I say, come back and even be a little bit lighter towards the end, which was extraordinary. So these tips will help you a lot. I hope you found this video super useful. If you have, make sure you smash the like button, make sure you subscribe for future videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.